What the fuck? Did you hiss at me? Yes, you did. Did you hiss at me? That's okay. Because you're actually friendly. Yes, you are. Yeah. Say good morning. See, it's very early. Yeah. Is it very early? Look at that. Okay. It is about 7.15. And I was exhausted last night. So I did not get weights or anything. I did go over them. This one has a little bit of a wound. Scratches, not, not horrible. So on the nose and by the eye. Yeah. And that's really all I can find um, other than, you know, just normal kitten stuff. And this one has a wound on the back of its ear that looks like it's old, it's healing, but this, the fur is gone. And there's another one on one of his back legs that where the fur is gone, but it's healing. So it probably all happened at the same time. Yes, but this morning we're gonna do weight. We're gonna do dewormer and we're gonna de-flee yeah yes we are and i should have i really i was so tired i should have defleed immediately because now i just have to want i have to redo but the only um oh what is the only washable stuff that's in here is just these things right here um everything else can be cleaned really easy. Oh look, he's watching me pet the other one. Um, so that's what we're gonna do, aren't we? Oh, is that bright? Oh, that's bright. Oh, so that's what we're gonna do. And we'll come back later. Okay, let's see. Spots. This one spots. Oh, be still. Be still. One four, so almost two pounds. Yeah, almost two pounds. Okay, here we go. Nope, nope, you don't need help. Okay, like whatever. Okay. Let's I go get there. Do you want more? Delivery. It's mail time again, and as usual, uh, before I start, I have to say that these have been here for quite a few days, <laughs> so if there is something missing, I'm sorry, I tried to at least leave the empty um, or partially used things in the box, but I might have not. So, if there's something missing, just know it's probably because I took it out and used it. Uh, thank you for anything that has gone missing. <laughs> it's been used. The first box is from Scott. It says, hi community, enjoy your gift from Scott He. And Scott sent a case of the poultry platter, which I'm very happy to see. The past couple days, Maggie and Rose have refused to eat the Fancy Feast. And at one point, I did have several of these stockpiled, which I love. Because I do get anxiety about their food, <laughs> so I always want to have a bunch. I only have a half of a case of the poultry platter and then almost a full case of the turkey and giblets. But because... When Maggie and Rose stopped eating the Fancy Feast, I started giving this to them, and they, like, attacked it. They really, really started eating it. Well, 
then I, I don't remember why I did this, but one day I put some KMR on it. And when I did that, all the kittens attacked it. So once a day, I put a can of this mixed with KMR down and they gobble it up. So I've actually been going through this a lot faster than I was originally. And I, I did put it back on the wish list because for some reason, I mean, you know how cats are. They're, they're crazy. Um, so Scott, thank you very much for this case of food. The next box is from Janet Stemper. Hi community, enjoy your gift from Janet Stemper. And Janet sent two cases of the Fancy Feast Poultry and Beef Classic Pate, which all the kittens, except for Maggie and Rose, still thoroughly enjoy. I really don't know what has gotten into them. And then Janet actually sent me two of these. It is a case of KMR. But I only have two cans left. I used one of the cases and then the other part of this case. And I do have one can in the refrigerator. So, we, since Maggie and Rose started eating it, and then I was giving it to um, Mama Cat, and then something else that I can't spoil, I am going through KMR like there's no tomorrow. And it also sent a bag of my very, very, very favorite toys. I've talked about this probably ad nauseum. I love this bag. As you can see, it has been opened. The tunnel is out of it. My favorite toy from this is out of it and several other things. There's a bunch of stuff out of this bag of toys and it is being used at the moment. That's how much I love it. <laughs> so thank you, Janet, very much. And the last box is from Gina. Hi, community. Enjoy your gift from Gina. Gina sent a refill of the Litter Genie um, refills. <laughs> and let me tell you, I know I don't think it's made it in into the I don't think it's made it into any of the videos. I think I've edited it out every time for one reason or the other. But one of my very, very favorite things of all time that I've ever had with a kitten is the litter genie. I don't know why it took me so long to learn about the litter genie. Then Gina also sent a Tower of Tracks um you know the best kitten toy but it's been opened and it is in use but i did leave the cardboard <laughs> she also sent a thing of pill pockets the greenies pill pockets i another thing i don't know i don't know if you've seen the video actually i don't think i filmed the day that i gave everybody tapeworm medicine tapeworm medicine comes in pill form and I have only ever given big cats pills. I've never given kittens pills. Normally kittens are liquid. It was horrible. It was the most horrible experience ever. Especially Prim. Giving Prim a pill. I, I don't, I, there's a, I, I can't even explain how hard it was to give Prim that pill. Honestly, that pill just eventually dissolved in her mouth. She never actually swallowed it. I mean, it just dissolved. It was terrible. So, like, that's the day. That's the same day I got on Amazon. And I was like, how, how is it going to be easier to give them pills? So, I put these pill pockets and the little pill shooter thing on there. I mean, I pray. Because I have to do it again in probably a week now. It's really every two weeks, but it's probably been a week since that happened. I don't know. I'd have to look at the calendar. But I just, everybody cross your fingers that either the little shooter things or the little pill pockets work. There's also some churu is what I call them. I don't know if that's how you say it. Um, they're like this little squeeze-ups. And as you can see, I have already opened these as well. It comes with five. There are three. <laughs> but, but everybody really loves them. This is the other reason that I decided I needed to go ahead and film before I pulled more stuff out. Um, between needing to open the Friskies Pate and this. Um, this is another hot and cold pet pit for life. It's the little microwavable or freezable. I've never frozen them, but um, the little microwavable heat packs that are wonderful. Again, 
if you foster or deal with kittens or sick cat, best thing ever. She also sent a bag of the Blue Wilderness chicken for adults. And I know last time it was salmon. And uh, they do. They really, really like the um, salmon. I actually very pleasantly surprised. Um, Genji and Fig especially like it. Uh, she will kind of eat it. Mm, you just, you can't ever tell. Um, and Mama Cat actually really likes it too. I gave Mama Cat some. Um, and she, she really liked it too. And then she sent um, some flea and tick sprays. Now they're two, they're very different. Um, she sent them to me before, and I use them a lot. Now they are very, very, very different. Um, this one is uh, more in the peppermint smelling um, area. And they both work really, really well. You can, like, if you see a flea and you spray it, it, like, immediately dies. Um, I will say this, this one is very strong smelling, though. You have to be careful, um, not to spray too much or it does get overwhelming. And I actually mostly use this on, like, when I do the deep clean on the bed before I put the sheet back on. Um, and then also I love it. I've sprayed it everywhere like where my ferals eat and um, like where their uh, and where their sleep boxes are. And it works really really well on mosquitoes. So that I mean so I really like this one. It's just really strong and you have to be careful where how much and where you spray it. And this one is the Wonderside Flea and Tick Pets at Home, and it has more of a citrus scent, and I actually use this one to spray down, like when I do the deep clean, um, the cat tree, the things that they will touch, um, because it does have a lighter scent, but it works. It works just as good as the other, I believe, and they're supposed to both kill not only the fleas but the eggs and you know i have to say since i started using them i i actually haven't really seen any fleas knock on wood i hate saying that because i don't want to jinx it but i haven't i haven't seen any fleas on any of the big cats or the kittens um so you know between the topical and these two sprays i'm, I'm pretty sure like i said knock on wood we have the flea under control, <laughs> but I don't want to jinx it. Thank you very much, Gina, for the food and supplies. Well, I found something that they really, really like. <laughs> I've actually had a hard time getting them to eat today. Now, you know, they did have their dewormer and they do flea. Um, and that does normally kind of mess with them a little bit. Uh, but I, I, even before that, they didn't eat very well. Like that is just one can of the chicken, kitten chicken fancy feast. So it's actually, it looks like they ate a lot, but they didn't because the can is little and um, most of it's just been pushed to the side. They didn't really eat that much of it. And then I tried fish, that's fancy feast salmon. And they didn't, they wouldn't even touch that. So then I decided to try the tried and true poultry platter with KMR. And they got really excited. <laughs> what are you doing? Here, come out here. Come out here in the light. Yeah. And this one is just a playful little thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Tell everybody you came to the door hollering at me. Yes, you did. That's how I knew you were going to eat something. They finally, um, they spent most of the day in here kind of just sleeping. I had heated up the pack and put it in there after I did the dewormer. And it's about 8 o'clock at night. And I would say they spent 
from probably one in the afternoon until now. Now, as we should all know by now, when um, cats and kittens come inside from outside, they normally do sleep quite a bit when they first get in. I think it's because once they feel comfortable, they just relax. I mean, I think they're just always have to be on such high alert outside that when they come in, they just sleep. And that always happens. That always happens, so. That's what they did. They slept most of the day today. But it looks like they may be awake and playful. I know this one is. This one just wants to be on my lap. Which is fine, but I can't film it on my lap. Still kind of freak him out a little bit. And he hit the crinkle ball and he jumped. 